What's good out there everyone? It's Roll Easy here and I'm back with another GTA 5 online video. In today's video we're going to be going over the new gift cards to friends workaround. We do have another working method once again. Now here's a warning to you guys. We have only confirmations of this working on PS4. I have not tried it on Xbox yet but I know people that have and they have been unsuccessful. I'm not saying it's impossible on Xbox, but right now the only confirmations of it actually working are on PlayStation, and you're going to see why. You have to be much faster on this bunker, you know, method to actually hit it, okay? So, Founders, uh, the workaround was found by Mod Beep, but this is the same glitch that GTA Boss and uh, Lost Glitches and stuff worked on, okay? So, all of them will be down in the description, but uh, yeah, so this is how we're going to be setting it up this time. So, on PS4... I mean, obviously, everybody needs the MOC with the personal vehicle storage and an RH8 or a Fagio inside. Um, I'd recommend probably an RH8. That's what seems to work better. All right. So definitely put an RH8 in your MOC. Now, you need one friend, obviously, with a car to give you. Uh, on PlayStation, you both need recent activities. If you want to try on Xbox, you actually, you and your friend both need to have another friend in another targeting mode. Now... This glitch is touchy, all right? It's weird, but this is how you want to set it up. So you see, this is the RH8 from inside of my MOC, all right? I just requested it. I'm sitting outside of my bunker, and I'm going to go ahead and set my spawn location to last location. I believe it was already set before doing this part. So now that I'm ready to go to do the glitch, doesn't matter what session you're in right now, but you see I'm in last location, so I'm going to go ahead and flip to a story mode character and just head over to story mode. Okay, so this is just so that we get into a fresh session with the car outside ready to go for us. So once I'm back in story, go ahead and just hit pause, go to the online tab, play GTA Online, and join up in an invite-only session. Okay, so we're going to be in the clouds now going into the invite-only session. Have your friend waiting in the party and stuff like that just ready to go. Maybe have their spawn location set to the bunker as well so you guys can make this a bit quicker. But yeah, so you see I spawn down. I'm in a brand new invite only session. I have my RH8 that was, you know, that's parked inside of my MOC. It's out here now. Now I'm just going to go ahead and invite my friend to the session. All right. Shout out to BMX for helping me out with this. But yeah, so I'm going to invite BMX over to the session. Now, what you want to do is, and I would just show you right now, but you want to go ahead and get a recent activity ready. Some people were asking me on PlayStation where the recent activities are. These are how you get to your own recent activities. Find one that leads you to GTA Online. Okay. So. You're going to see when I click on this one, like purchase a new vehicle, if I go all the way down on the right, see it says start GTA online, that's what you want. Hover over that, double tap the PS button and come back. Okay, so I have my recent ready to go. So now BMX is here. That's actually the car he's going to be giving me. If you want, I'd recommend putting the car over at the docks. We just had it here. But now you want your friend to just hop into your RH8 with you. Okay, and just simply drive into your bunker. All right, so we're going to head on into the bunker now. Okay, so this is where it gets tricky all right now the workaround is is pretty simple you know but it's just you need to bring up that alert faster so a recent activity on playstation comes up almost instantly but on xbox joining somebody in a different targeting mode is very very tricky the alerts are always tricky on that so here's what we're going to do now we're not parking right behind the moc anymore we're actually parking up against this wall and then up against that back pole a little bit and the car wants to be sticking out a little bit so you see i don't have the right d-pad option uh, all the way up against the all the way up against the wall but you see if I just angle it a little bit more towards the MOC I get the right d-pad option so as I, as you guys know I have my recent activity ready so what you're gonna do is as fast as you can hit right d-pad then double tap the PS button and start your recent activity okay so start GTA online and sit on that alert Xbox obviously you would be joining a friend in another targeting mode except in the first alert declining the second okay so there's a couple fails if you spawn in your moc after denying the alert you know you're you did it bad you got to restart it again if you spawn outside like this and your friend is invisible you want to go ahead and actually go back to story and then go into a brand new session okay go outside go to story go to a brand new session invite them all right but yeah so if you spawn in your moc that means you're actually too slow just drive out with your friend drive back you know to that spot and try it again but like I said, the alert needs to come up super, super quick. So that's why this is really, really tricky on Xbox. Except the first alert, sit on the second. Sit on this alert right here, the recent activity or the targeting mode alert for two minutes. Then deny it. If done correctly, this will happen. You will be under the map and you'll be moving just like this. Your friend is caught on an infinite black loading screen this whole time. Okay, the whole time your friend's on an infinite black loading screen. You want to go to the Criminal Enterprise Starter Pack. Click on it, then back out of it. Then you can go ahead and take the easy way out. Okay? 
Once you've done that, your friend is still stuck on an infinite black loading screen, so your friend would also need to actually join up a recent activity and deny the alert. Or on Xbox, join a friend in another charging mode, accept the first alert, and decline the second alert. Now, I'm going to show you what happened to me, though. Everybody says that the friend actually gets a black screen. That's not what happened to me. Let me show you what happened to me. So... Right here is the perspective of what happened to me as the helper. All of a sudden, I spawned over at the default bunker, which is right here. It just kicked me out over at the default bunker. If you guys did the old GC2F, you know what I'm talking about, all right? So right now, I didn't have to do a recent or anything, but if you get a black screen, you do need a recent. So I recommend still, as the helper, do the Criminal Enterprise Starter Pack trick. Just click on it and back out. And even when I'm right here, I'm gonna go ahead and take the easy way out, okay? So I'm gonna take the easy way out, there we go. I'm kind of unglitching myself, but I realize sometimes that is still not enough. Okay, so get the car you're giving to your friend and head over to the docks. Okay, now request your MOC. So that's what I'm doing right now. If you can't request your MOC while inside the vehicle, just hop out. Once you're there, you have your MOC ready to go. I actually still recommend joining a job. Remember, this is all the friend right here. You're joining up a Titan of a job and just go into the lobby screen. Okay, you just simply go into the lobby. Once we load down into the lobby, you're just going to back out, okay? This is to just fully unglitch the friend, the helper, all right? I found that I needed to do this. So back out, confirm the alert. Now we're good to go. Now I should be able to run over to my MOC as the helper. Remember, this is all the helper, and the helper is going to go ahead and go into their MOC and send your friend you're giving a car to the invite, okay? So there we go. That's how it works. So now we're back at the person receiving the car. Okay. The main perspective, I'm going to go ahead and accept that alert or accept the invite to the MOC that BMX sent me. I'm going to get hit with an infinite black loading screen, double tap the PS button, start GTA online and decline the alert. Xbox, you would have to join a friend in another charging mode, accept the first alert, decline the second. Okay. So there we go. So you see what I'm saying, guys? It's a little bit different now. Okay. And as the friend, the friend actually has some weird stuff happen to them. So you saw what happened to me. If that happens to you, follow that exact rule as the friend, what, what I did right there. If you end up on a black loading screen, infinite, you know you have to do a recent or you have to do targeting mode on Xbox. Let me know if any of you get it to work on Xbox, but I haven't seen any confirmations yet. So at the moment right now, we're just waiting. You should have your radar all screwed up at the bottom left, just like it was in the old, uh, you know, in the old glitch that was just recently patched. Your radar will be screwed up at times. Right when your radar comes back, you'll get sucked in. But you see, my radar just came back and I did not get sucked into my MOC whatsoever. Remember, as the person receiving the car, your MOC can stay in the bunker. You don't have to call it out. The only person calling out their MOC is the friend that needs to send you an invite. So you see, that's BMX. He's just chilling. He's hanging out. He can exit the MOC once I've gotten off the black loading screen. Okay, so right now we're just waiting for me to actually get thrown into my MOC with the car that he's giving me. You will hit a black screen like this, and then all of a sudden you'll spawn into your MOC with the car he was giving you. Okay, so that's pretty much it. And now when I drive out, you see, I'm going to drive out of the MOC now, and I'm actually going to be inside of my bunker. That's because I left my MOC in the bunker. Okay, so that's what you're going to see right now. There we go. So now if you wanted to kind of reset to do the glitch again, what I'd recommend doing is like, say you're just going to be getting cars like back to back and stuff like that. Your friends just giving you cars over and over again. Even if they're not, if you want to just reset for the next time, it's your turn. You can do that really quickly. So what I recommend, go ahead and drive out, request your MOC. OK, now make sure on your mechanics list, you have like another RHA that's in a different garage or something. I actually didn't have one ready, but I'm just going to go over right now, you know, what you would do. So the MOC just spawned out on the map. And what you would want to do is call out one of those RHAs. If you're using a Fagio, I don't recommend it because I haven't seen it work with a Fagio yet, but I know the RHAs work 100 percent. So you would basically want to go ahead and call out your RH8 and you'd want to put, you'd want to replace it. Okay. So I'm going to show you right here. I realized I didn't have any RH8s. So I'm just going to simply get out of here, start up my motorcycle club menu, and I'm just going to return this one to storage. So it's going to go right back in the MOC. This is where you would call out the RH8 that you wanted to drive in there. Have the RH8 out from another garage, drive it into the MOC. The car you just received will now be in a 10 car garage and the RH8 will be in your MOC and you're ready to go to go ahead and do the glitch again. Okay, so that's how you would reset. All right. Like I said, this has not been confirmed on Xbox. If you guys want to try it, let me know. I heard it's very, very hard to get the timing down. I will be attempting it as well and try to put out a video for you guys. But right now, nobody has confirmed that this works on Xbox. Okay. So that's going to be it for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something. My name is Roll Easy. Please subscribe to the channel if you're brand new by hitting that big red button. 
turn on post notifications and drop a fat like on this video and the rest of my videos for the freshest and the most informative dope GCA 5 online content. We are on the road to 50,000 subscribers now. That feels so good to say that. Peace out, everybody.